Hola mundo! Today we start with a new series. For the next weeks we will take you with us buying a house in Switzerland. And we will share with you all our personal experience. Uh, and we will also share some helpful information for you how to proceed buying a house here in Switzerland and what informations you need and so on. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel because within the next weeks a lot of information and a lot of videos will come up concerning buying the house. When you think of buying a house there are different steps you have to take in our opinion. So the first step is you must be clear what you want. So that means what kind of house do you want, a new one, an old one, whatever. Um, for us this was more a small house, uh, a bit an old one which can be renovated so we can give it an additional value with our work and maybe later sell it more expensive. Um, so which house do you want? The second point is where should this house be? You want to go to a city like Zurich or Bern or different regions so for us this was we want to have a house in Ticino and there in the northern part of Ticino so this is where we are looking for the house. So that's the first step and of course how big should the house be? If you consider these things in the beginning, it's much easier for you to search all the search engines online. The second step, of course, is to look online what houses are for sale. Um, in the link down in the description, you will find some online platforms all over Switzerland, which have properties all around the country uh, you can use, but also I suggest you Google like buying a house in Ticino or the region or the city where you want to look because regionally there are a lot of agencies and also regional online platforms that offer houses um, to list them here. It's too long so you can just really specifically look in Google and will find a lot of possible. Yeah, and then when you look normally in Switzerland, you either call, Swiss people love calling others, so that's the way to go. So you call the agency or the contact person and ask to see the house or you write an email and they contact you back. This is kind of the normal thing we do here in Switzerland. And then you make an appointment and yeah, you go and visit the house. And this is exactly what we will do to, in today's video. We have selected a few houses online, we have contacted the people and today we show you five houses which might be interesting for us. And now the fun begins. Uh, a week ago we had the crazy idea that it might be possible to buy a little house here in Ticino, like a rustico stone house. And we checked some, some houses online and we found some. So now we sit here driving behind the car of an agency, which will show us some houses. So here we go. place and this is the house.
from the terrace. Just behind the kitchen, there is the bathroom. It's a bit dark because it's closed, but uh, there is a window. You have a washing machine, a toilet, sink, and a shower, and a boiler for hot water. But it's pretty nice here. In the kitchen, you have a sitting area here, which you can use. And then in the back, there is a small little room with a door. That's a small bedroom. And going up to the second floor is a steep staircase. So let's climb it up. It's really steep. <laughs> and up here, that's pretty cool. You have one big bedroom, like the master bedroom. Well, we have to remove the furniture and the pictures, but still, it's quite nice. When you look out, you have this view. I mean, no questions. And this fancy mirror. And you have a second bedroom and this is pretty cool because yeah, it's also nice and you can enter this from outside and the cool thing here is you have like a small room in the corner here which is used like a cabinet where they put all the things but we could use this to make a small bathroom here. Just next to the house there is a small little chapel. That's sweet. Okay, that was the first house. What do you think about it? I liked it from the inside. It's really nice. It has one room more than I expected. The heating is kind of a problem because basically there is no heating and it's at 1000 meters above sea level so you would need a heating. Yeah, the location is beautiful. So also the neighbors, all the houses are are nicely made so it's not a rundown place. That is really nice. The terrace is amazing. But there is quite a lot of work we would have to put in it. So, yeah, I think we just calculate it, we wait and see what the others are like. There is more work to do than I expected, but it's, it, it's a good one. Now we are in front of the second house in Intranja. It's uh, located in the entrance of the Cento Valley. Uh, yeah, have a look.
When you come in, <laughs> I'm already there. <laughs> you <laughs> reach the kitchen first. The <laughs> kitchen <laughs> is a bit old, but it looks clean and okay, well kept. So this is the kitchen. I think some parts will go away because the current owner is clearing the house at the moment. So there's still a lot of stuff from him. And there are some stairs going up to the living room. Overall, it's a very small house. It's 44 square meters, but it's really cozy. It's this old stone house, the Rustico, which you have here in Ticino. And that is the living room. We have a fireplace, an additional stove. And here's the second door to go out to the balcony. <laughs> This is our cozy little terrace. We have some views here of the mountains. And some views of the neighbors. The view from the living room. And some ah. palm trees in front of the house. And here. Some more stairs going up. It's on four levels, which is really funny. And this is a small room from where you can reach the bathroom. Let's go inside there. It's a bit old style, but still it's quite nice. You have the bathtub, small window, the toilet, and a little electric stove, and some more stairs. And you reach the upper part under the roof, that's the sleeping area. What I really like when you walk to, towards the entrance of the house, which is here, um, you see the balcony here, it's like a tunnel to go down to the main road. That's really nice. And in this tunnel, there is our basement, which is a super helpful room. Let's go and see. Look, if there is some light. And here is a huge basement. There is quite a new um, heating system. That is a centralized heating for the whole area. That's cool. And some technical parts and the hot water tank is down here. And it's really newly made. You see that all the electrical things are really well done. So that's good. The next house we just looked at is in Valcola, in a small, small, tiny village called Cozzo. It's really remote, but the nature is beautiful here. It's the house right behind me. Unfortunately, people still living in there, so that's why I didn't film when we looked at it. Um, it's very, very old, but it's beautiful, so it has a nice garden beautiful views so I just try to capture everything from the outside so you can have a look at it. The house has four floors and a huge garden. The funny thing about this house is that there is a bathroom and a toilet and these are only accessible 
we are the balcony, so you have to go out to go to the bathroom. That's a bit special. But yeah, it has quite some potential and it's kind of nicely made and the views are, they are just stunning. I mean, you see it. the next house um, it's also <laughs> in Valcola it's a bit more out of the valley and you have amazing views of the mountains here and it's just opposite a farmhouse where a lot of cows are <laughs> the house looks quite cute we cannot go inside today because it's not possible so we decided just to have a look from the outside and see if we like it or not if it's a possibility and we decide later and if it's good for us we can have a tour of the inside next week reached the final house for today well we are walking to it it's this is in a very different area it's in Valmarobio which is close to Bellinzona so let's have a look how this house looks like It is this cute little yellow house and let's go inside. First thing again is the kitchen, the fireplace, wow it's really looking good and new, that is beautiful. And there's stairs up to the next level. Look back out. This is one bedroom and there you can also reach the garden. That is the second bedroom under the roof. And the fun thing about this house is that 
As in many old Chino houses, there is no bathroom in the house. This is outside. So you go on the terrace, walk to the other side, <laughs> then is the outdoor kitchen, like an additional kitchen, and the bathroom behind. Toilet and the shower. So that was the last house. Now we have seen five houses, four of them from the inside. So now we are really curious before we tell you what we want. We are curious to know which one you like best so just write in the comments which of the houses you liked best which one should we take so i hope you have enjoyed the houses as i said in the beginning you must always be clear about why you buy this house and this is a big part we want to take into consideration when we decide which house we will take. For us the purpose of the house will be um, to set up a company branch in Ticino. We have a lot of projects there so we need a fixed address, we need a place to stay when we work there and when we are not there um, we might also uh, rent it out via Airbnb so it should not be that remote and it should be easy to handle and we will do our homework now. To finish the video today I want to thank uh, Sorel Amor Finance. She has a channel on YouTube, is quite famous YouTuber and she gave us the final inspiration really to go for the project, to make it happen, to create a second passive income with it. And yeah, we are really happy and thankful that we got this inspiration and finally go for it. It's a lot of fun. Um, we enjoy this journey and yeah, see you next week with a new episode of the house when we tell you the, our final decision. Hola mundo!